so hello this is a message i made for my 27th birthday this is something i've avoided talking for a while because i was like it's my opinions are my opinions everyone's opinion is everyone else's opinion but i feel i want to bring some of my opinions to light now it's up to people whether they want to disagree with them or follow them it's entirely up to them or you guys who are watching this so i'm a marjum shade and i'm a data scientist and today I finally become 27 years old. I started my career back when I was, I think in 23, I believe. No, actually I started even before that because I graduated in 2020 from my bachelor's and I did my diploma from big data and finished it in 2021. I started my career since then. And it's been a six year journey, uh, both as a freelancer, as a professional, and now as an instructor at my company, AI Data Yard. I have gotten the chance to work with multiple other companies whether it, it was as a freelancer or whether it was as an instructor or whether it was as a project assistant. Some of those projects worked out really well, some didn't work out well. And all of those opportunities were a form of learning for me because the best part I love about data science is it's a ne you never fail in it because every project is an experience you can add. So what I really want to share about today is that, you know, everywhere I go today, everywhere I sit in a cafe, for every new person I meet asking me for advice, they have the same thing to say. This country is going bonkers. We're going, we don't know what to do next. You know, as a data scientist, I am thankful every day that I was born in Pakistan. Because why? Because Pakistan gave me a platform to stand on when no one else did. When I have finished bachelor's in business administration, you know, like uh, Bad Hours University of London's long distance program from University of London via Pakistan, no one recognized that I could be a data scientist, not just my people of my country, but people outside my country didn't. But I saw other people in my country also making it into the same field without a bachelor's in IT. And some of them were close to me said, no, you can still do it. Why do you think other people tell you what to do? And then I just finally got it at my admission into masters of data science in University of London. And a few Pakistani universities that if refused me first, after they saw me finishing my master's data science successfully with the first division, they were like, hey, we should also offer the master's data science to people who can do it from non-computing backgrounds. Because data science is a field different from computer science. It is not the same field at all. It's about studying data and its patterns. Computing is about uh, optimizing, about like, you know, algorithmic uh, usage and algorithmic uh, programming. It's about optimizing that within hardware processing and as well as software and many other platforms where computing is applied. Similar to how accounting is applied in econometrics, computing is also applied in data science as a tool. Okay. It's not the field itself. So, you know, Pakistan introduced me to many great people like Adnan Zaidi and whatnot, who actually guided me on how to further work, improve myself on Kaggle. And within one year of Kaggle activity, I became known as an expert. After that, I just, I started working less because other things also came on my hand as projects from outside. Yes. And, you know, aside of that, you know, I started writing my own research papers. I started writing my own articles on Medium and also my colleagues here who were writing articles. I took it from their ideas that I can also write articles, you know, and I succeeded. My, some of my articles were published in Sweden, some in India, some in UK, some in Germany from Medium. And um, right now, a lot of my, you know, and I've been ranked as a top voice on LinkedIn as data science, even business intelligence. So, and I wouldn't have achieved any of this had I not been in Pakistan. Pakistan as a country has its own issues like every other country in the world. But you know, and I've gotten the chance over years to meet uh, very successful entrepreneurs and analytics and data science professionals from India, Russia, even uh, Japan, even United States, even UK, even Lebanon, even Saudi Arabia, even African countries like Nigeria, Egypt, and even countries like Ghana. I've worked, I've had clients from there too. And I, whenever I've met them virtually or even in person, I've always noticed one thing, which they have and people of Pakistan don't. They never speak bad about their countries. And many countries, you know, like uh, Lebanon or even countries in Africa have it worse than Pakistan do, you know, but I still never see them saying, speaking bad about their countries. The only people who I see here speaking bad about their countries on international platform are Pakistanis. And it's not because the country is going uh, like uh, completely like self exploding or there's no civil war in this country. It's because we as Pakistanis and since the last 10, 15 years, we want things the easy way. We want the easy way out in everything. Right. We don't want to put in the same hard work to get something done. Like when I reached over there, I still have some problems. I still have, you know, uh, some issues every now and then. 
but that doesn't mean that I can still do better, right? Because no matter how far you reach, there's always something to do more, okay, in life. You should never think you've reached your limit. Never think that in life. And if you want something done to its full potential, you have to work hard towards it. There is no shortcut in life. Never in success either. Okay? So if you want to work hard, you have to be willing to put the full effort required to get there and also be willing to wait the time of consistency where you've been consistently putting the same efforts. And I'm not saying work hard. I'm saying work smart. Okay? You have to be strategic about how you want to get somewhere in life. Okay? And Pakistan, in data science, it's the only field where we are globally competitive with many other leading countries in the world. In every other fields, we are really lacking behind heavily. But data science is one place I feel we are already making a difference with our Kaggle community of experts, GitHub experts, and even our data science community with conferences and workshops. And I think we can continue making that difference a lot or ahead. This is what I wanted to share with anyone from everyone with my, one of my 27th birthday. Look, do not think that where you were born is a limitation for you. Think of it as an opportunity because you know how Pakistan pushed me to improve my networking skills to get what I want. I It's become easy for me to get clients from different parts of the world just through this skill because merit is very short lived as a feature itself. When you get into a higher position, everything's about networking, how you can you know convince people how what good you can do. All CEOs, management people, even government officials all get things done through networking. And if you're getting to, if you were forced to learn that skill from a young age in Pakistan, think of it as the biggest opportunity you're ever going to receive wherever you are in this world. There are problems everywhere, even in this country, there are many problems, but we all have to work towards it, okay? Sitting around complaining is not going to do anyone justice, neither yourself any justice. It's about how can you opportunize on these problems, okay? Think of United States. It's a country where everything is private. Mines, natural resources, all are privately owned by companies. People themselves made use of all these problems in the country and today US is where is it where it is because of that. You have to opportunize on what problems you have or what things you see instead of complaining about them. Okay. This is what I wanted to share for my 27th birthday. Everyone feel free to disagree with me. People feel free to agree with me. It's on you. But this is where I felt I wanted to share and I hope my message is understood by others as well. And remember, I, I am always proud I was born in this country. I was born a Pakistani. No matter what happens with me later on in life, I'm always proud I was born here. Okay? See y'all.